What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have a special edition unboxing video for you. Unboxing and unpackaging. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing this. It's the Pokemon Evolutions Elite Trainer Box. I got this and the Blastoise ones. I think I did a haul video that showed where I got these. I got these from Target. They were $40 each. I'm quite excited because I actually had no idea what these were about, and then when I showed you guys these in my haul video, you guys said that the new Evolutions packs are based off of reprints of the old cards. And I was like, what? That's amazing. And so I'm very, very, very excited to open this up and to check out these cards. I think this is gonna be super nostalgic, which is even more awesome. Cause I did the Pikachu Generations one and I love that one. Um, but I think I'm gonna love this one even more. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Before we do the unpacking, I'll show you what's in this box. So once you take the wrapper off, you slide this thing off. This is the little booklet that kind of gives you, I think there's a checklist. I don't even wanna look at this cause Oh my god, it's literally all of the old cards plus their new EX holo cards and whatnot. I'm excited for that. So, the box actually isn't this tall. They just put these, like, things on it to make it taller. So, when you open up the box, what you're going to get are a pack of card protectors. And I think I'm going to use these. What I want to do is start putting packs together for my prize box at work and then if I ever get any duplicate EX cards I want to secretly put those in the packs so that the kids don't know that there's an EX card so I'll probably use these for those because I don't actually play the game I did get the hardcover cases what are those things called I should probably pull some up what are these card things called top loaders or something so I got a bunch of top loaders so I'm gonna use those if I get any mega EX cards I'll go ahead and put them in these just to protect them and I bought a whole bunch of these just in case. Not that I plan to get this many EX cards because I don't. Okay, so in this box you have the card protectors. These ones, not the top loader ones. You have a pack of energy cards. I don't, they, I know they came out with new energy cards in the last thing. I think these ones are it. I don't know. I'm not going to open those because I did it last time. I don't need energy cards. So there's a thing of energy cards. These are dividers, I think, for your box. So you can, like, divide the different types of things. I don't know. I don't know what people do when they play this game. I don't even know how to play it. Um, there's this online code thing. I'm actually, I told one of the boys that I would give them that because they needed it. It comes with the, it's six of the little dice and then one big guy. I guess I could read this box and tell you what these actually are. Six damage counter dice and one competition legal coin flip die. So that's what those are. These are the four dividers and then it also comes with this collector case. There was the the sleeve, this sleeve that includes the Mega Charizard or the Mega Blastoise. And then inside it has the basically what the card covers look like, the packs. And then there's this, there's two acrylic condition markers. Oh, it's raining outside. Is it supposed to rain today? I didn't know that. That's not good. And then we had the energy cards and then the 65 card sleeve. So what I really got this box was for these. This is eight packs of the new Evolutions thing. What are these called? Evolution series. Um, they have different Pokemon on the covers. These literally remind me of the old packs. Like these are similar to what the old packs look like. So I'm pretty excited about those. I got a lot of Raichus. Now the difference between this box and then the one that has Pikachu on it, which is this one. This one has the generation packs. This box came with 10 packs and it cost $50. These ones come with eight packs and it cost $40. So they're basically pricing these packs. Well, I'm not going to say $5 a pack, but kind of. You can get these single packs for about $4.19 at Target. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clear this space off and figure out how I want to show you guys because last time it was kind of a funky camera view. So I'm going to see if I can find a better camera view for you guys because I don't want a weird camera view like last time. Okay, guys, I decided that I guess I'm going to have to do it this way because I am not coolly set up to do like one of those like first person unboxings. I'm not like solid unboxing when he first started. So I'm gonna just do it this way and hopefully it works out, fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes. Oh gosh. Okay, so basically, again, this doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything, but I got a total of eight packs in this uh, box. I got two packs that had Charizard on them. I got three packs that had Raichu on them, two Blastoise and one Venusaur. So again, I don't think it doesn't matter, but 
you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I also have my top load protectors. Just in case we get a cool mega card or something that looks fancy, we'll put it in a top protector so that um, it doesn't get damaged. All right, let's go ahead and pop open our first pack. Oh my gosh, this is so nostalgic. Now the cards do look a little bit different, but for the most part, they're basically the same. I should get my whole card collection out and see how it goes. Oh my gosh, I think we got a Mega EX card, or we got some kind of shiny card. So the first card that we got is Diglett. I'll go ahead and show you guys these cards, and if we start getting duplicates, I just won't show you. So we got old school Charmander. Should I zoom in more? Ooh, we got a Voltorb. We got a Fire Energy. We got a Vulpix. Okay, so this is a reverse hollow. This is of a Metapod. So reverse hollow is, uh, let's see if I can remember all these terms. Reverse hollow is when the card is hollow and the picture is not. And here's the next card. <gasps> you guys, you guys. Wait, this has to be, okay, you guys. I, I can't not talk to you guys with my face, you guys. This is bring, sorry, this is really close to my face. Let me say that. You guys, this is bringing back, like, this is how my life was when I first started collecting Pokemon cards. The first pack I ever got was a pack of Japanese Pokemon cards, and I walked out of there with a Charizard Hollow, which is why Charizard is kind of like one of my favorites, because I knew back then that was really big. You guys, look at this card. I'm sorry, I got so excited. This is the first pack. I can't even script this. This is a mega Charizard card. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at that. This is so freaking cool. Top loader, top loader alert. I don't even, I don't want to damage it. You guys, I'm going to put it in here and then I'll show it to you. Oh my gosh, you guys. For reals though? For reals though? Are you kidding me? First pack. I am so excited. I need to work on my hand gestures better. Okay, so that's a good one. Let's see what the rest of these cards were. So we got our Pidgeot Spirit Link Trainer. I'm like so excited right now. And then we got Kakuna. And then we got an Energy Retrieval Trainer. It's so weird. I actually like remember this card. I mean, I remember all the other cards, but usually I don't really remember trainers. And I'm gonna save these cards for the kids at my program because I guess they use them for something. I don't know. Okay, so that was the first pack. Uh, success. Do you like my thumbs up? Success. Oh, look how veiny I am. Okay. Practice my hand movements. Practice my hand movements. Okay. You guys, I'm like so excited right now. Are you? Look at that first pack. So what that probably means is I'm probably not going to get another mega card. I think the last time I did, when I did the Pikachu Elite box, I didn't, I think I only got one mega or two mega. Okay. What should we open next? Okay, let's open a Charizard pack. Again, it doesn't actually mean anything, but... I guess technically I could get a Mega Card in all of these, right? Because these are supposed to be like random, aren't they? I don't know how it works, like how they sort these. I, we didn't get a Mega Card in this, I can already see. So we got um, a Magic Carp. We got an Energy. We got another Vulpix. We got a Nidoran, and I think this is, is this the boy or the girl? I don't, I never can remember the symbols. We got a Ponyta. Oh, we got a... Oh, we got a holographic energy. I didn't even know they had that. That's so weird. <laughs> That's kind of odd. And then we got an electrode. I think this is technically, so this is the rare card. So no hollow, well, other than that hollow energy card, which was kind of odd. Um, but this is a star, a rare card. So it's an electrode. We got a Here Comes Team Rocket trainer. We got a Revive trainer. I remember this one. We got a Coughing, and then that's it. Okay, so no like legitimate hollows, but I guess I should be pulling out, should I be pulling out the good cards? I don't know. I'm still really excited about that, that Mega Charizard EX. Wow, so cool. Okay, sorry, not to get distracted. Okay, let's open up a Blastoise pack. Here we go. We got a Tangela. These are so, it's like crazy. These are literally the exact same cards. We got a Weedle. We got a Sandshrew. We got a Ghastly. We got a Magikarp. Okay, so we got a Reverse uh, Magmar. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! You guys! We got another mega card and this one is different because this one has like... Okay, first of all, it's a mega... Wait, focus, focus. It's a mega um, EX Blastoise, but this card has texture on it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the texture, but he's got like... 
he's got like lines. It's like, let's see if you can hear this. Can you hear that? I probably shouldn't be scratching the card. <gasps> wow, and the Charizard didn't have that, I don't think. It doesn't look like it, at least. This one, you can like see all of the lines that are going through him. This card is so cool. This is even cooler than my other Mega Blastoise EX card that I have. Okay, so let's be careful with that. Top loader alert, is that what these are even called? I don't even know. I'm just saying that because I thought that's what they were called. I'm pretty much already happy with this box. Like even if I didn't get any more EXs, I'm pretty happy with it. This is so cool. Okay, we got a double a double color, colorless energy. We got a Machoke. We got a Charizard Spirit Link Trainer. And then that's it. So that was amazing. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I feel like the luckiest person on earth right now. Are you joking? So, so far we've opened three packs and we've gotten two Mega EX cards. Ah, I'm so excited. I wish you guys could see my face right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up another, another Raichu pack. What's that card? I wish I could remember that card trick. I watched an unboxing or unpackaging one time and they did this like card trick so that the holo card ended up on, like last. By looking at the sides, I don't think this one has a Mega, but let's just go for it. Okay, we have an Electabuzz, a Vulpix, a Ratata, an Energy, Poliwag. Oh, how funny. Isn't that hilarious? This happened to me in the last box where I got, I think it was in Meowth. I got him in, so in the same pack, I got a regular, a regular Poliwag and I got a reverse hollow Poliwag. Isn't that crazy? And then, uh, we got a drill. So this is our rare card in the pack. Non-hollow, put that aside. We've got a Switch Trainer. We got a Metapod. We got Professor Oak's Hint Trainer, and that's it. So that one had nothing too great. Crazy that there was a Poliwag in both. Okay, so we got four packs left. So out of four packs, we got two Mega EX cards so far. That's not bad odds. Let's go to do a Blastoise pack, our last Blastoise pack. Okay, looking at the side, I don't think this is gonna have any hollow. We got an Energy. Oh, look, another Poliwag. <laughs> we got uh, another Nidoron, an Onix, a Growlithe. Here's our Reverse Trainer, it's the Revive Trainer, so Reverse Hollow, sorry, of a Revive Trainer. And we got a Dugong, so not a non, it's a non hollow rare. So there we go, set that aside too. We got a uh, Misty's Determination Trainer, a Blastoise Spirit Link Trainer, We got, a, and then we got a Haunter. Okay, so that one was a dud as well. Again, I'm still pretty excited about these. I think that this will make up for even if we don't get any more. But I would like to get more. That would be nice. Um, let's go ahead and do the one Venusaur pack that we had. So we only got one of these. It's crazy because you can kind of tell when you look at the edges if there's going to be a hollow. <gasps> you guys, I'm excited. I think there's gonna be, a, I think there might be a Mega. I can see, let me just show you. This is cheating, by the way, but let's see if you can see it. Can you see that little line right there? <laughs> I'm such a cheater. Okay, we have a Nidoran, an Onix, a Growlithe. These are literally like the exact same cards that I grew up with. A Machop. Okay, we have a Pikachu. A reverse hollow is a Clefairy, that's pretty cool. And you guys ready? Let's see what we got. <gasps> you guys, are you serious? Oh, I feel obligated I'm gonna have to put this in my prize box. Oh my gosh, you guys, we got another Mega EX Charizard. How sweet is that? Are you joking? <gasps> that's cool, okay. Let's put this in the top loader. Top loader alert. What are these? Are these things called top loaders or am I just being ridiculous? Second Mega EX Charizard. I would have preferred to get something that I didn't have, but I'm okay with that. Charizard's really cool, so I'm excited. And how fitting, because this is the Charizard box, right? Yeah, this was the Charizard box, so. Okay, we got our Metapod, our Venusaur Spirit Link Trainer. We got a Magmar, and that is it for that pack. Okay, so that was a successful pack. Reverse Hollow Clefairy and a Mega Charizard EX. Yes. We have two packs left. We have um, a Raichu and a Charizard. Let's save the Charizard for last just because it was a Charizard box. So we'll do the Raichu. And this is pack number six. I did not open that pack very well. Oh my gosh. I'm such a cheater. Okay, there's no Mega in this. Just... I shouldn't do that, I'm sorry. I won't do that next time, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, we have a Ghastly, 
a polywag, a Voltorb, a Weedle, a Ratata. Okay, we got a Misty's Determination. It's a reverse hollow trainer. And uh, we got a Raticate. And this is a rare, non hollow. Put that aside. We have a Slow Bro Spirit Link trainer, a Revive trainer, and then we have a Poliwhirl. And now we are down to our last pack. This. Focus, 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 focus. Okay, sorry, I'm messing this up. So our last pack is our Charizard pack. What do you guys think? Do you think there's gonna be a good card in here? Okay, I'm gonna stop cheating. I'm gonna stop trying to look at the edge. Let's be surprised. I don't think there is one. I think there's a hollow, I just can't tell what it is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm such a cheater, I, I have like, I get so anxious, like I wanna see. Okay, we got a Tangela. Oh, I think we got a Mega. <laughs> we got a Staryu. Energy, Magikarp, Onyx. <gasps> wow! Okay, we got a Reverse Hollow Mewtwo, which is awesome. I know technically this isn't the fancy card from this pack, and I don't. I think we got a Mega. I think we got something behind this, but this is actually really cool. I enjoy this, so I like Mewtwo a lot. You know, just because it's so mysterious. Um, but this is a rare, and it's a Reverse Hollow. Now, what's next? I'm gonna flip this and close my eyes. I'm not even gonna look. Okay, I'm not looking. Is it something good? What if it wasn't even a Hollow? I think it is a Hollow, though. I saw. Okay, I'm gonna look. Ooh, you guys! It's a full art Blastoise. Um, I don't know if it's considered a hollow. It is shiny, but this is the full art one. So the full art one. This is. I found out that the last time I did this, I got a full art Pikachu one, which you guys were like, "That's a really good card," and all the kids at my program were like, "That's a really good card." So I think this is a full art, right? Because he's like coming out of the box. Um, I'll probably look at the guide once I'm done with this. So that's a good card. He's the Silver Star, which means like really rare. So let's put that. Top loader alert, top loader alert. And that's, uh, it's not a mega EX, it's just an EX, but that's still cool. Okay, sorry. Potions trainer, Pokedex trainer. I like this, this is one of my favorite trainers. Um, and then a Poliwhirl. Okay guys, sorry, the camera angle is different because, you know, I can't get it back. So that's all of the packs. We opened eight packs of the new Pokemon Evolution. I think it's called XY Evolutions. Out of the eight packs, I got four EX cards, three of them being Mega EX cards and one of them being just a regular EX card, although I think this is full art. So we got our, is that full art? It doesn't look like a full art card, but let me look. I think they have a little checklist in here. And then they have these new cards, which I saw on, I was watching somebody's YouTube video and they got one of these. So there are these new like sideways cards, which I thought was really, really cool. We didn't get one of those. I think those are really fancy, like hard to get. They're called Pokemon Break. So this Blastoise, this might be considered Mega Happy Chaos. I don't really know what that means. So the excitement of EX. So there's definitely some different EX cards. There's, so this one's I don't think a full art. I think this is just a regular Blastoise EX. And then there's a Mega Blastoise EX, which I don't know if I have that one now that I think about it. I'm not quite sure. Probably not. And then um, we got two of the Mega EX Charizard cards. There's a regular EX card. That's, let's see if that focuses. That's the regular EX one. And then this is the Mega Blastoise card. I got Mega Blastoise in the other packs, but I don't think it looked like this one. So this one might just be for the different pack. Oh wait, what's this one though? This looks different, so let me see if I can... Oh, there's a Mewtwo EX as well. There's some really cool cards. Wait, what is this Blastoise card, though? Oh, this is the new series. What do they call these things? They said it was called the Mega Happy Chaos. Wait, I don't know. I don't know if that's a true story. Hold on. I don't know what card this one is. So this is the Mega EX Blastoise that we got that had, like, texture. Oh, here we go. It's in the back. So I think maybe actually... I take it back. I think maybe this is technically considered a full art card. That would make more sense. And these are the full art cards. The Dragonite looks so sweet. So like these are the different full art cards that they have. You guys have been sending me, like a lot of you guys have been getting these packs and sending me pictures. Oh my gosh, I remember these cards. This Flying Pikachu was so rare back then. I remember I really wanted it, but um, it was some kind of, was it a promo card? I forgot how you got it, but it was really difficult to get. 
And I think it was only, I, well, I always collected the Japanese cards when I was younger, so. Okay, so all in all, um, not bad. So we had four packs. We got two Mega EX Charizards. We got the special, I don't know what this is, but it's a special Mega Blastoise EX, and it has, like, it's got texture on it, which is cool. And then we got a regular Blastoise EX. We did get some pretty sweet rare cards and reverse hollow. so we got our Mewtwo and, uh... I think that's my favorite reverse hollow that we got. I also like this weird energy reverse hollow just because I didn't even know they made reverse hollows of energies. I feel like if I was a kid, I'd probably be a little bit disappointed if I got a, a hollow energy. But back then, getting a hollow was super rare. Like, there was not, like, you didn't automatically get a hollow. I feel like in all these packs, you automatically get a reverse hollow card. I don't even know if this one's, like, good enough to have a top loader card, but I'm going to give it one. But yeah, I, you know what? It's cool, because then you automatically know that you're probably going to get some kind of hollow in your deck. It's just, are you going to get the mega? So the mega EX cards have become the new hollow cards, basically. If you guys know what I mean. That's kind of confusing, but... Anyways, um, that's all I have for you. I was really excited about this, and I've been wanting, I've been dying to unpack these forever. I still have my Blastoise box, so I'll do that in another video because this video is already kind of long, but I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty happy with the loot that I got in these. So exciting. I have to figure out how I can package this in a way to um, put this in my prize box. When I put these in my prize box, it's not like they, they don't see it and go, I want that. I try to pack them into like, usually I just put them all in a deck to be honest, and I go, okay, you get to pick 10 cards, but you can't look at them, and then you just hope that you're gonna get it. But I wanna keep this one protected, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I can do that. I might put a bunch of random cards in top loaders and then do the same thing where it's like, okay, but you only get to pick one card and then you potentially get the EX. I don't know. I'm not quite sure, but I'm excited about what I got. Um, for me, this box was worth it. So I paid $40 for this box. It came with eight packs of cards and then all of that other stuff. I guess if you don't need the other stuff, then it's a little bit of a waste, but you know, it's kind of special edition. So I liked it. If you just Mac drooled all over my calculator. If you just were getting this box for the packs, it's probably better just to buy the packs individually because the packs are only $4 um, each. If you technically press it out and you don't include the pricing of any of this stuff, it comes up to be $5 a pack, but these boxes are actually kind of cool. I'm sure it's really cool if you play the game, but these card protectors already are probably worth another $5, if not more. And there's 62 of them, which is a lot. Um, the rest of the stuff is only really gameplay, like the dice and the energy cards and the dividers. I, I like the dividers, I'm not gonna lie. And then the box is actually really nice. I've been keeping all of my other cards in my box here. So I'm gonna put those, I'm gonna keep them all together um, so I have a safe place for them. But yeah, I mean, it's worth it if you need card protectors and if you play the game. If you don't play the game, you probably could get away with just buying um, eight packs of the Evolution. You could probably just get eight packs of the Evolution packs that they sell individually. Um, the reason, I didn't even think about that to be honest, but the reason why it's important to get the the Elite Trainer box, the one that had Pikachu on it, is because they don't sell the generation packs individually. You have to buy them in sets. Like, they don't sell generations individually, but they do sell, but they do sell the Evolution packs individually. So that's probably a better bet for you, $4.19. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a blast doing this. I know, I like, it's, these cards are literally all of the same, and I still get the thrill of trying to chase my Charizard and all these Mega EX things. Like, I get, it makes me so excited. It, this is how I felt when I collected Pokemon cards when I was younger. It's like you open the pack and you're just hoping for that holo card, right? And now we just hope for different hollows and all these crazy sideways cards and whatnot. So I'm excited to open the other box and we'll see how it goes. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this. For those of you who are collecting the evolutions and um, for those of you who collected Pokemon cards when you were younger, uh, the evolutions, I highly recommend it. Only because it's literally like it's literally like the cards that we grew up with and it's pretty exciting so um, I definitely recommend it but if you um, if you got any of these did any of you guys get really cool hollows did anyone get any of those sideways cards I don't know how rare they are they, they seem pretty rare so I don't know what the chances are of actually getting them are but yeah let me know in the comment section below if you guys got any mega EX's or what'd you get um, shoot me pictures on Twitter or Instagram or whatever but and remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Um, 
I just want to give you as a quick reminder that my November giveaway is happening on my channel right now. So if you go to my channel and click video, scroll down, find the video that's entitled 2016 November giveaway, watch the video, follow the instructions, enter the giveaway by November 30th for your chance to win one month of a subscription box of your choice of your choosing, one that will be able to be shipped to you. So um, go do that now. And yes, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching again. I literally am so excited. I'm like really excited right now. Ooh. And I found out that the new game came out. I don't know when it came out. I think it came out a couple days ago. The two games. What is it? Sun and Moon. I don't remember what is it. what it is. But I think I'm going to have to buy myself a DS. A new DS because my old DX, my XL DS was a 2D and I think some of the games can be played on it but I had some trouble with other games so I think I might just make the jump and get a new uh, 3DS and then that way I can play the Pokemon games. I really want to try them because a lot of you guys said that it's like Pokemon Go but like I don't know and I love Pokemon Go and I love the paddling that was one of my favorite parts of it so should I test out that game? Let me know. I can't do gameplay videos with Nintendo they don't let you do that or that's what I read online I don't know. Alright guys, have a great night and I'll see you guys later. Bye!